Right, so let's do a quick overview of Retrolog, and then, of course, we're going to listen to dark mass presets, but I'm going to give you a lot of tips how you can change, morph, and add to the already excellent sounds. So, first of all, this might look very complex if you're not used to synthesizers, but let me break it down for you. So, we have three oscillators and one filter. So, all the sound generating devices, the oscillators are here, here on the left. So, we have oscillator one, two, and three, but we also have a sub oscillator here. And then we have a mixer. So, we have oscillator one, two, and three, the volume, and we also have the noise section. We have the sub here, which is not used in this preset, but if we'll turn it on here, you'll see that we have the sub, and then we have the filter. So, everything routes, all the sound goes from the oscillators into the filter, and you can change this shape. So, it can be a low pass, a high pass filter, band pass, and so on. So, you'll see all these types here, and if you don't really know what they do, so, well, check my channel for more information on synthesis and synthesizers. I have a basic course, and I'm going to add some more stuff very soon. So, you select low pass, which means that we let the low frequencies pass, and so we are trimming all the high frequencies. And we also have distortion, we have the resonance, which is a sort of a bump, a boost around the cutoff point, and of course we have the cutoff. This will open and close. Well, it will uh, really uh, do a lot of stuff depending on what kind of shape you select. And we also have a filter envelope. Again, if you don't know what's a filter envelope, that's a device that will control, will sort of automate how the filter is opening and closing, how the cutoff is really uh, behaving. And again, I have a video on that one in my channel. And next, we're going into the amplifier. This is almost the way out. And again, we have an envelope here to control how the sound really is shaped in terms of how fast will we get to the top velocity. Um, I mean, short will be a plucky sound and long attack will be more of a pad. Then we have the, uh, the uh, decay and we have the sustain. This is the, the sustain level it will be the level of sound as long as our fingers on the keyboard. And then we have the release. So if we have a short release, the sound will just cut immediately as we uh, take our fingers off the keyboard. But if we have a longer release, the sound will linger on, will fade out slower. And we have some LFOs and some envelopes to automate things. So these are the modulations and we have a modulation matrix where we have four uh, tabs here. We have uh, four pages, one, two, three, and four. And they are identical, just, I mean, it's just the way the user interface is shaped. But this is not all. In Retrolog, we also have a sequencer, a very powerful sequencer. And I'm not going into that one here, but we will take a look. We are going to tweak some things here. And I'm going to show you what you can do with some very easy, quick steps to get things very exciting. Then we have effects, and you can see the effects chain here. We have mode effect, we have phaser, we have resonator, we have delay, reverb, and an equalizer. So everything is set up here. This is the order of, uh, of the uh, different effects, and you can change their order, just drag and drop them in a different order. So that's, well, that was Retrolog as quickly as I could. So let me know in the comments if you want to learn more about Retrolog, if you would like me to do a, sort of a review or a deep dive on Retrolog. I'm really interested to, uh, to know what's your opinion on that one. And so next, let's listen to some more sounds and tweak things. And I'm going to be uh, getting some drums, some epic drums using UJAM. Symphonic elements, drums, just for fun, so we will have some something going on here. So I'm I'm starting off with uh, with 
you know, whatever we have here. And, and then at the end of this video, I'm going to give you a lot of other examples, other presets from this pack. Again, this is Dark Mass by the Solos. And I'm going to put the link to the Steinberg website where you can get that one. So let's, uh, let's get started. Right, so we have a lot of sounds here. Let me show you what's included with this pack. So uh, first of all, we have different categories and they go from, uh, well, we have basses, we have brass, we have synth leads, we have other, uh, well, let me just clear the, uh, the filter here. You'll see we have 151 different presets in this pack. We have bass, brass, uh, oh, chromatic percussions, we have cinematics, we have keyboards, we have strings, we have uh, string leads and pads, a lot of sounds. So once you select any of these, let's just go for a, a synth lead, for example, and we'll get this first one here. Let's listen. Right, so let me show you what we've got here. So you can see that we have oscillator one and two in, uh, in play here. And first tip here, if you want to tweak this, you can experiment with different wave shapes. So this is the easy uh, kind of uh, change that you can do. And of course, you can also change the octaves here and the tuning of these oscillators. And this is really cool. Next, we can also shape the way the filter reacts. So we have this filter envelope here. Experiment with the attack here. But what will definitely be the most influence on the filter and the overall sound will be the cutoff. And we can change the shape. So right now it's low pass 12, so it's 12 dB per octave. But let's let's see what we have with this one. So these are the kind of tweaks you can do very easily and change the sound. Let's try another one. So again we can change the oscillator wave shape. Changing the cutoff. But we can hear that we have a sequencer running here. So let's go and see what's happening here. We have this sequencer, this arpeggiator, and we, we can see how many steps we have. So we have all these steps and you can see the changes uh, in pitch here. So you can tweak that as well. So we go from uh, 0 to 9, 12, 24. I can change that. Right, and something else that we can do, we can actually change 
the phrases. So this is really powerful. We have a complete list of different baked in phrases. So we can look here, for example, let's go for dance R, just the first one, and you'll see everything is already set up for us. Let's try another sound. So I'm going back here to our browser and let's select the next one. And you can see that when I'm using the mod wheel, there are things that change. For example, here you'll see that we have the cutoff point uh, affected by the mod wheel as well as the sub oscillator. Let's go for the next one. And again, this is a pad. You can see that we have the attack on the amplifier envelope set to somewhere here in the middle. This is a definitely evolving sound. You can tweak that and you can tweak the release time. Next, let's try something new. And another one. Of course, in Cubase, you can automate all these parameters and record the automation or, or just draw them or program them in the MIDI. Cool. So let's see what we have in synth comp. Let's try something fun. Let's go for the sequencer here. It's not turned on, it's just uh, sitting there doing nothing, so we can load a phrase. Let's try some bass phrase. So this is really fun. So if you find any of the presets that you like and you want to sequence them, that's the way to do it really easy. And then you get something completely new. Very nice. Next, let's try this one. Okay, going back to 
our categories. So that was synth comp. Let's try another. Let's see what we have in brass. And again, you can see that the cutoff is really low. We're uh, going here uh, around 100 and 100 hertz. And you can see again that the mod wheel controls the cutoff. Again, we can tweak this even further. You can see that we have effects. So if you go, for example, uh, here uh, to the reverb, you can get more or less reverb. If you want more or less delay, we have the mix slider. Let's try something else. And going back to our filter, let's try again the synth leads. And we can again sequence that one. So I'm going to turn this on and find some bass sequence. And last, let's see the musical effects. So let's try and add some reverb to this one. I'm going to the effects here and turning on the reverb. Nice, let's go for the next one.
Right, so that was Dark Mass by the Solos in uh, Steinberg's website where you can get it. I'm going to put all the links in the, the description of this video. I hope you like that video. And let me know again if you want to learn more on, uh, on Retrolog. And of course, like the video if you like it so far. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you and bye bye.